that next year, I'm the only one moving back to California. If in fact he is. Thousands will run through the streets of Boston next Monday in the Boston Marathon. A much smaller field of 50 will, tra will traverse the same course in wheelchairs. If the unyielding will to overcome hardship can be considered a criterion for victory in the latter category, then Tony Hernandez can introduce us now to one of the favorites. On this downhill slope near his home in La Cañada, Marty Vogel can hit 32 miles per hour racing his wheelchair. He used to go a lot faster than that racing motorcycles as a pro until two years ago. That's when, racing against amateurs, he got tangled up in traffic around a turn, went down, suffering severe spinal damage that left him paralyzed from the breastbone on down. I was on my way up, basically. I had no, you know, nothing to hold me back from being number one, you know, from winning the championship. That's what I wanted to do that year. Just 21 at the time, Vogel did not let the prospect of paralysis paralyze his desire to compete. When I ever got hurt, I looked, for, I looked at guys that were quadriplegics. And I try to, I try to make an example for them, you know, say, hey, you know, life ain't that, it could be worse. You know, I always say that, it could be worse. In the recent L.A. marathon, Marty had a personal best time of two hours flat. Boston will be his seventh marathon. Marty raced in his first Boston marathon on April 20th of last year, exactly one year to the day after his accident. He calls it his birthday. Like I was reborn, that's what I say. When I, when I was in the hospital, I got, I just decided it was, you know, I was an infant, newborn baby. So I just say now, this year I'll be two years old because it's a whole new life. I don't do everything. I don't do anything the same, basically. Maybe, I don't even really think the same, you know. I have different outlooks on everything. You've heard the stories about the loneliness of the marathon runner. Well, training in a wheelchair isn't exactly a social occasion either. I do a lot of training by myself, basically, because there's, you know, I train in the morning, no one really around, and runners don't run as fast as me. And uh, bike riders, my, you know, most of my friends go a lot faster than me. So I'm riding between there, you know, so I usually end up just going by myself or take my dog. Marty Vogel is an inspiration to all and vivid proof that one can overcome adversity and find strength in what is positive about oneself. That's what I try to do. Try to do the best I can with what I got. Tony Hernandez, Channel 2 Action News. Well, the story of triumph over adversity is as old as man himself and never fails to inspire, does it? It really doesn't. It's just wonderful to watch someone like that with such a great attitude. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Jim. You're welcome. Chris and I come back with more right after this.